Now I will take the root tips and wash it in distilled water. I will get the stain ready first. For that, as I have just mentioned, we have taken acetocarmine. We will take some acetocarmine and put it in the watch glass. And then we will quickly wash this in distilled water. For that, for that, I will just pour this entire content into a beaker. And then I will pick up the root tips, wash it in distilled water very quickly and then put it in the stain. If you look at these, you will see that one portion is slightly opaque whereas the other portion is transparent. The opaque portion is the tip, that is the one that you would like to keep on your slide. The transparent part if you want you can chop off. Now we will be picking up the root tip and mounting it on the slide. You can just take the tip and discard the rest of the root. That part is the tip and I will discard the rest of the root. Now quickly I will put some stain on it and I will put the cover slip. So you use a needle. Touch the stain, touch the needle to the on the glass slide and slowly drag the needle out. That way you will avoid putting any air bubble inside and this is done. However, you have to squash this root tip because if you don't squash the root tip, all the cells will remain in one position in a clot and you will not be able to see the cells separately. So for squashing, you will be needing a rubber headed pencil. Hold the glass slide with a needle at the center. Do not use your fingers for this. Otherwise, you will leave fingerprints on the cover slip and then slowly tap the glass that is the cover slip with this rubber headed pencil. Now, let me show you something. Now, if you see it before squashing, the tissue looks like this. It looks, it looks like a patch or a cluster of cells. Now, after squashing, how it will look, you'll see. I'll quickly squash it for you. Just tap it and after some time, you will see that you cannot see the patch anymore. That is when you know that your squashing is complete and after your squashing is properly done, you see the patch is, has almost dissolved. That is how it looks like after proper squashing. Now that's all and now all we have to do is observe it under the microscope and see the different stages. You can see so many different cells, most of them are in the same stage which is prophase but this one as you see here is in anaphase. How do you know that? Because the chromosomes are clustered towards the poles and they are facing the center of the cell. This is metaphase. The chromosomes are arranged at the center and you can see the ends of the chromosomes are facing towards the poles. Now this is a field where you can see an anaphase here which is a late anaphase or an early telophase. You can also see a Two daughter cells have been formed and they have separated from each other after anaphase. So these are the different stages that you can see under the microscope uh, for an onion root tip when you are observing mitosis.